smelling good, looking good, maybe, well, maybe not. But we're ready for a new year of work 2022. This is my first day back at work in the new year. So holidays are over. It was actually a really good holiday season for me. Uh, I think so. I mean, very low key, didn't do much, stayed home most of the time, but it was nice to just sit and relax. Starting off 2022, bobtailing into Winnipeg. Got a pickup. Uh, I don't know if it's refurbished, but it's one of our roll tights that was getting repaired. Gotta go pick it up from the repair shop and then pull it up to Toulon and pick up some freight there. Not sure at the moment where the freight is going, but we'll figure that out as we go. All we all we know right now is gotta go get our trailer. We gotta go get our freight. We gotta bring it back. It's a nice way to start the year off, I think. Take a look, shall we? Come with me, people. Six oh two. Right off the bat, I can see we got new pins in here. Nice. Let's see what's all inside here. Well, it's empty. Sounds good. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Okay. Oh well. What's this? Yeah, interesting. A little bit, a few things to clean up in here. That's okay. So, what else can we see? Is everything looking good? Looks like we got some new Velcro up there, possibly. Uh -huh. This summertime, I'm planning on washing all of these out on the inside when I have some time in the yard. Oh, we got a new pin there. I'm not too sure what they fixed. I mean, I'm not the one who brought it here, so I don't know what was broken. I'm guessing probably some of the rollers needed to be replaced. But, uh, I don't know, yeah. It's all looking good. Got some dunnage here at the back. I'm gonna... I don't need that. Okay, I gotta do a little bit of cleanup here. And, uh, let's, let's go do a... Let's carry this to the front first. Alright, let's just... Because we're not gonna need this in here. I can't leave this on the deck like this. 
Because even though there's walls around the outside, uh, you still have to secure your freight in here. I can't leave these loose in here. We'll find a home for them somewhere. And here's two more little pieces back here. Don't know what these are used for, but whatever. Whatever. Someone's done it. Found it. What was that now? Tripping over, tripping over myself. <laughs> Hook this bad boy up. No air leaks? Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Okay, good. <sighs> It's not, not as cold today, which has been nice. It's only about minus 15 Celsius out here, so it's a nice change from the minus 30. Uh, it's gonna get cold again though eventually. Bound to happen. Oh, I forgot to put my hazards on. Oh, we got new, uh, new hooks back here. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and new uh, Velcros too. Awesome, we needed that. Is it on that side too? Awesome, yeah. That was, that was needed. Good, 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 good. Got air in all our tires. Premium winter air, I might add. Looks like we got a new brake pod in there too. Okay. All right. Where's the flap roller thinger? There's supposed to be a, a big bar in here uh, for our flap. I'll have to go inside and ask. I might have just forgot to throw it back in there. That's why you check. That's what this strap is hanging here for. It's supposed to hold that in. Is it maybe on this side? Nope. Okay, I'll go and ask about it. Figure it out. That's what we do. We're truck drivers. There is no such thing as not getting the job done. We'll figure it out. They just had it inside, just like I thought. When you're working on the trailer, you gotta take it apart. And that's a small little piece. It's just, well, it's not a little piece. It's a big long bar, right? It's what we use to crank up the flap in the back. But it's sort of hidden away underneath the trailer there. It's easy to forget. I'm glad I noticed it. I guess it's another reminder why you always want to do a little bit of a pre-trip inspection on everything. Make sure you got all the equipment you need before you leave. It's not a safety issue. I don't need that bar to pass any safeties. But that bar does belong with this trailer. It's part of the equipment that goes along with it. And you won't be able to roll up that rear flap without it. Well, the trailer's pulling nice. So there's that. We got a pretty good crosswind coming from over here off to our right I guess that wind is coming out of the east which is kind of abnormal for this area usually the wind comes out of the west but you know mother nature she likes to surprise us all right we're here and it's a good thing I got that bar for the flap because I ended up needing to roll the flap up here <laughs> that was a good thing okay One pair of gloves warming up on the dash. One warm pair here going on my hands. I'm gonna go out there and give the shipper a hand and uh, get this freight loaded so I can get out of here. And get back in my warm cab. We just gotta get this stuff up there. But the stuff coming from up there is making it difficult. Uh, it's always a fun day in wintertime. It's always a fun day. There's never a day that's not fun. Don't tell me you're bored at work. I'll put you to work up here. You'll never be bored again. Uh. Uh. Uncomfortable, but we're having fun. That's okay. No one ever said life will be comfortable. Yeah, I think they said the opposite, didn't they? Life is gonna be tough. 
But we gotta get stuff done. We can't just can't just sit around and do nothing all day. It gives you a self of it gives yourself a sense of satisfaction with yourself, self-satisfaction. When you go out and get things done, I could never just sit at home all day every day. There's people that do that. I know there is. I don't know how you can do that. You know, there's people at home living off the government and not doing nothing. Maybe it's out of their control. Maybe they have a reason why and other people, they just don't want to do anything. But the people who have the ability to and just don't, I find that they're very unhappy. And my explanation for that, in my expert scientist opinion, I think it's because they're not getting stuff done. When you get stuff done, you go out, you have a task to do, you complete it, you do a good job. It makes you feel good about yourself, makes you feel happy. Lights are on. All right, now, here we go. Onwards. Somebody in Florida needs this stuff. It's on the way. Good sir or good ma'am, whoever ordered it, it's in good hands. It'll be there soon. I'm gonna bring it to our yard and another highway truck is gonna hook onto it and bring it down there for you. You know what I mean? It's one of those. At least the roads aren't slippery here. They are slippery in some sections, but. Still trying to take it easy. I missed those pipes again. I just want to listen to them. song it's so beautiful you want to watch using your jake brakes on uh, days like this too uh, this truck has abs uh, but sometimes those jake brakes will lock up your uh, drives and could send you for a wild ride so if you're unsure of how slippery it is maybe just don't use them especially in the hills here on the prairies it's a little different but in in the hills i wouldn't use it on a day like today I just wanted to listen to their song real quick, that's that's all. It's beautiful. It makes me happy in my heart. Just a little bit of snow there on Blue 42. <laughs> I guess it hasn't moved since we were in it last. It's strange, because I know a driver did move into it. And then they assigned it to me for that trip into Kenora and back. So I guess they put that driver in a different truck. Maybe he didn't like 42. I like 42. Really nice truck. It's a Kenworth T680. It's a wonderful truck to be uh, be assigned to. I guess a lucky new driver. I know they have a couple of new drivers being trained right now. Maybe it's uh, got one lined up for it already. Whoever gets that truck is very lucky. If I ever go back on the highway, who knows if maybe I will one day. Uh, well, I'll probably be asked to be placed in one of these beauties. If I have an option, I mean. Who am I to say what truck I get assigned to, right? That's not my choice to make. But if I have a say, if I have a, if I can make a request, a humble request, I would request one of these. But I mean, we have the, the new Volvos too, see? Those are nice too. I wouldn't mind being assigned to one of them. That's my old truck over there, 3101. It's the one we were in. Uh, my friend Mike drives that truck now. He's taking good care of it. I guess he's at home right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, you know, always miss the highway, but I like this position that I'm in here right now. I really do. And I've said this before. I got a good gig. So uh, 
I'm gonna keep doing this for the foreseeable future. And one day, I still, one day, I, I wanna own my own Kenworth W900 one day. I'd love to have my own trailer too. I'd love to have my own every, like I'd love to have my own like running rights, my own name on the door, my own everything. But you know, that, that's the that's the big dream, the, the big dream. But I just, I wouldn't mind, maybe one day I'll get my W900. I'm gonna keep dreaming, you know? And you know me, I do everything in my power to make my dreams come true. Was what's the point of having a dream if you're just gonna dream about it and not try to make it happen? All right, if you, if that's pointless, it's boring. No, when I have dreams, I make it happen. It's sort of like Disneyland where dreams come true. <laughs> Trucker Disneyland. I want a W900 one day, one day, we'll get there. We're supposed to get 15 to 20 centimeters of snow today. I don't know if that'll actually show up or not, but it's quite a bit. It's not quite a foot. I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully it clears up by tomorrow. It's not much more we could do today. Ah, my wipers. I'm gonna have to do the old wackaroo again. There you go. One, two, three. There you go. Both joys, right? I know you guys in the northern U.S. have to deal with the same stuff. And around the Great Lakes, in what I'd call, I guess, the snow basin, you guys get a lot of snow, all that moisture comes off the lakes and just falls down in the form of eight feet of snow overnight. Same thing with Newfoundland, they get like four to eight feet of snow. All the Maritimes of Canada out east, I remember going out there in wintertime. Like, oh, we're about to have a light dust in the snow, are we? Yeah, four feet. Some light dusting. And they're all at work in the morning. Oh, boy. A little bit of flurries last night, wasn't there? <laughs> I had to dig my truck out. A little bit of flurries. People on the East Coast, they know snow. Well, got something going on here on the way home. Some kind of excitement. We got the Mounties here. Was someone speeding in this weather? I wonder what this is all about. Doesn't look like he's in the ditch. Remember, it's the law. We have to slow down below 60. Were you speeding? What in the world? Who would want to be speeding in this weather? <laughs> oh no, maybe he wasn't speeding. Maybe he was something else. I don't know. Maybe his taillights weren't working on his little trailer there. That could, that could be the reason. Could be something like that. I don't know. I guess just have to be nosy neighbors. Oh, I guess I stand corrected. People do want to speed, even right after they just passed a cop who pulled someone over. People are crazy. I thought Britt would be home when I got home, but it turns out she was called into work early today. It's all we seem to do is work, 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 but we had our holidays. It's time to get back to it, eh? I got home at quarter to five. I forgot she had told me earlier before she's been going early. And she usually likes to go to work early anyways. She's always, she's one of those that shows up real early all the time. Better to be early than late, right? So I guess the Rockstar welcome is all for me today. Hey boys, Chevy, Frank, do and the wiener. Hey, it's just me, buddy. Mom's not here. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey Chevy, hey Chevy, good boy. Good boy, did you miss me today or what? You did? What? No way. <laughs> Are you sure? You mean how much? How much you miss me? <laughs> That much, really? Oh, wow. You have a good day? Yeah? Me too. You have a pretty good day. Oh boy, oh, you got all kinds of stories to tell me. Okay, one sec, one sec. Well, we're gonna get into those. Let me finish up here. So this is what I did this uh, holiday season. Our spare bed is gone. 
replaced with the dog beds. Um, they're all messed up right now, but this is the dog's room. And uh, as soon as we have a little one, this will turn into the nursery until we build our house. So we figure, may as well get started on it now, eh? That's gotta be all organized and cleaned up, but cleaned up my desk a little bit here, dusted everything off. Got uh, my closet all organized. We got a whole bunch of new hangers. I'm very excited. Uh, well, Britt's more excited than I am. She uses more hangers than me, but she's been secretly stealing my hangers. She's a hanger thief. She's been taking my hangers here and putting them in her closet. We each have our own closet, and this is mine. And I guess I don't need as many as her, but uh, all of a sudden I realized, I guess I needed one extra one, and I'm like, where's all my hangers? She took them all. So we got, <laughs> we got a whole pack of 30 there. Walmart special. Woo! And I still got to clean up up here yet. We got all our board games and stuff. Talking Battleship. I got that when I was a kid. That's fun. And all kinds of stuff. You know, these are my sweaters. We got some new jackets. Thank you very much. That was awesome. One of our uh, patron followers sent these to us. Really appreciate that. Uh, more than I can describe. I really appreciate that. Just in time for the cold weather, too. Got some Jets jerseys here, some more Jets jerseys, sweaters, sweaters into my going out shirts. And then these are my work shirts. Now you know how I operate. Now we're tight. Diesel, where's your cow? Where's your cow? No, that's your reindeer. Come on, let's go get your cow. Come, Diesel. Chevy, you know where it is? It's Diesel's. Chevy, don't take it. It's Diesel's. You know what it is. Diesel, come, come, you gonna bring your reindeer? Come on. Oh, you got Wayner guarding it here. Let me get the lights on in here. Let me get the lights on. Oh, we have a new member of the family. This is Howie, Howie the Cowie. And he's Diesel's. <laughs> Chevy, 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 Diesel. Take him. He's very gentle with his toys. That's why we always get like a, a stuffed animal just for Diesel. And the rest are for Chevy. He rips them apart. I want to see what's inside. I know. Diesel just wants to love them and care for them. And tenderly, you know, nuzzle, nestle with them in his bed. Nuzzle? Nuzzle with them? Nestle? You know what I meant. And Chevy, yeah, the rest of them just tear him apart. But that is Diesel's cow. Because cows are his favorite, so we went and got him. It's actually a kid's toy, but it works. You wanna you wanna say anything about him? He's mine. It's all mine. Okay? He's mine. This is Howie. He's my best buddy. Best buddy ever. I give him a bath every ten minutes. He's a super good cow. Super good cow. He's mine. Did I tell you that? He's mine. Chevy, you hear him? Oh well, yeah, it's his cow. I'm not allowed to play with Diesel's cow. Anyways, I was looking forward to sneaking Britt in here at the end of the vlog. She doesn't get to make an appearance in many of my, my videos. And, you know, I feel kind of bad. I know she'd like to be a part of them more. But during the week and when we're working, uh, our work schedules are opposite. I've explained this to you before. And this holiday season, I didn't film anything. I, I, I was selfish and I, I kept it all for myself. And I didn't film anything. I, I've filmed like every holiday season for what, 10 years now or whatever. This holiday season was just doing nothing. And it was great. Next year we'll film again. But that would have been a great opportunity to show her more. Hold me to it, everybody. Okay, hold me to it. We're going to get her in these videos more often. Usually by the time uh, she gets home, I've already got all my vlogs and everything all finished and done. And I'm in bed already. And then by the time she wakes up in the morning, I'm already gone and I'm at work. <laughs> we have some exciting times coming up ahead. Uh, maybe tomorrow or in the upcoming days, I'll show you underneath in the crawl space what needs to be done. There's a few things that when we moved in here, we knew that they would have to get done. But uh, we're going to have to get on that probably this summer or this fall. This vlog has been long enough. Thanks for hanging out with me all the way to the end. You're a champ. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give me a thumbs up at the same time if you can do that. And leave a comment down below and I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. We're going to go do some more trucking. I got to go pick up another one of those loads tomorrow. I have a 10 a.m. appointment. So we'll see what mischief we get up to. But for today, mischief managed. Uh -huh.